Okay, so you may be wondering. Bata ko na sa, <laughs> bata ko na sa mga dalawa. Bata pang ng quality. Ayun. Well, ah, uh, hindi ko masyado masasagot yung lahat. Actually, yung masasagot ko, wait lang. Bayan mo lang naman ako sa ulit. Anyways, kasi nasira yung phone ko, hindi ko magamit. Kaya ngayon, gagamitin ko yung laptop. And now, ah, uh, Anyway, medyo mahirap. Wala lang, pinakita ka lang para makita mo yung buong buong. Uh, ayun, so pag-uusapan natin yung kukul sa kiyako. Well, parang, <laughs> ayun nga. More likely dun sa experience ko sa kiyako. Kasi, medyo malaki siya, pero medyo... <laughs> Eh, wala ka naman siya, pero... Anyway... Kailangan ko na yung Before I start this video, I just want to say that uh, throughout the course of the whole video, it will be a bit more organic, a more organic uh, approach, and it's a bit fragmented in a sense, and you wouldn't see my face much in those videos. They're all on different timelines. Yeah. Hi. For this segment, I was going to record it but I took the risk and I put a picture based on some of the words said. I took it from this idea. I hope you enjoy it. Capo is a district of, of Manila, Manila, Philippines. It derives its name from the water cabbage in the Tagalog language. Referred to as the old downtown of Manila. Capo is home to the Capo Church, where the Feast of the Black Nazarene is held with millions, millions of, of people, people attending, attending annually. Capo has, has also made, made a, a name, name for itself as a place for marketplace bargain hunting. Since, Since the, the American, American insular government, government and Commonwealth periods through to the late 1970s, Capo shared its status as the, the center, center of the activities of Manila's Manila social elite. elites as well as trade, fashion, art, and higher learning with its surrounding vicinity, Avenida Rizal, Santa Cruz, Escalda, and, and the, the University, University Belt. Belt. However, with the construction of the Manila Light Rail Transit Systems LRT1 spanning over Rizal Avenue, the occlusion of light, the trapping of smog and vehicle emissions left the streets beneath dark, gloomy, and, and with, with an, an increase in crime, crime and transience. transience. Consequently, Many long-time establishments vacated the area. Following the People Power Revolution in 1986, the vibrancy of Capo further diminished. With the void filled by makeshift markets to accommodate visitors to the Capo Church. So, ang Black Nazarene kasi siya yung central part talaga ng Quiapo. Since, uh, yung, siya yung sentro dun sa plaza, nandun yung mga tindahan and all that. And, dun rin kasi ginaganap yung 
Feast of Nazarene, dun nga dun sa na-explain ko, na-explain nung sa Wikipedia article na bin- pinabasa ko sa voice synthesizer. Nung first time ko siyang makita, uh, na pang nga ako rin kasi kung gano'n siya kalaki. Uh, isa siya sa una sa mga simbahang nakita ko. Gusto ko sarang videohin yung nasa loob kaya lang yun. Bawal yun. Nung ginawa ko naman, pumalya kasi ang pangat ng itsura. Kaya dinilit ko na rin. In Cartimar Shopping Center, Uh, recently ko lang siya nakita kasi dun sa Google, basically, habang nagsushooting ako, nagsusearch ako. And sobrang peculiar niya kasi puro t-shirts siya ka shoes lang yung binibenta niya. Pero good experience pa rin. So, this is Kartimar, and, oh my god, OSB-19, oh my god, <laughs> so anyways, uh, I've never went to this place before, and I think this is a great opportunity for me to, like this, in this vlog, I, I mean, Uh, nagliliwaliw ako, malamang. Pero, ayun, uh, nakaka-enjoy uh, makaramdam na na dito, wait lang, lipat lang ako. <coughs> so, <laughs> so, ayun nga, nakaka-enjoy rin na may ex- may may ex- gang gang B. Okay, okay. Char lang. Charat lang. So, hello. Hi, babies. So... Ah, this is Maya. Pero wala akong choice. But to stand. Okay. Kuno. Ay, hindi lang sa paggala kasi masaya, syempre. Tsaka isa pa... By the way... Hindi usually masayang pag-alip pag wala kang pera eh. And at least yun yung sa iba, yun yung conceptions ng iba sa pag-gala. Pero para sa akin, yun yung panahon na may, may experience ka, may maranasan ka na ikaw lang mag-cherish nun. Malungkot mabuhay. <laughs> Walang sense pero mami explain ko 'yun. Yung equivalent ng Isitan is para siyang SN North dati. Siyang SN North EDSA dati nung wala pang SN North EDSA. So ngayon, may plano na rin siyang ipabagsa. Kaya good opportunity na na video ko siya for one last time. Masarap ulam dito. Old restaurant siya. 5 out of 5. Punta kayo dito.